Okay guys, let's learn how to paint gradients. Um, these are the supplies that you're gonna need. So I've got my scratch paper over here. And then I have a piece of kind of kind of cardstock white to practice painting on because it's a little thicker and it won't absorb all that paint. I've got three different analogous colors. Remember, analogous are the color friends, so they're side by side on the color wheel. And then I have two cups of paint um, and a one inch flat brush. Now technically, since we're working on a smaller area, you don't need like a whole one inch brush, but eh, might as well. Okay, and of course, most important thing is my board to paint on so I don't get paint on um, the table. I may not end up using my scratch paper, but it's better to have it here as a backup just in case. Sorry, moving things. Okay, so with my gradient, I'm gonna look at my colors and I'm gonna say, what's my darkest, most pigmented color and what's my lightest? I think it's smarter if I work starting with my light and then go to dark because um, the dark tends to like stay in the brush a little longer and kind of contaminate things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not even gonna wet my brush to start. If it is wet, kind of dry it out. So here, I'll um, just wring all the water out because you don't wanna start with like a sopping wet paint. So my brush is pretty dry. I'm gonna load a bunch of yellow paint into my brush. I'm gonna just do a couple stripes of paint. So I'm just gonna do a linear gradient, which means I'm going from top to bottom. And I'll go about a third of the way down my paper. Notice to really paint effectively, you would wanna do a couple coats of paint even, maybe even gesso your paper. Um, but for this project, we're not worrying about that. That's like professional-ish painting. All right, so I've gone about a third of the way down my, my paper. I'm gonna clean my brush pretty well. Oopsie, I got a big water blob on my paint, so I actually need to make sure that I address that right now. Clean my brush again. And with gradients, you really do wanna work pretty fast. So um, just keep that in mind. I'm drying my brush out and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply my orange now. Now, a lot of people, they just would go straight up into their yellow and hope that it blends really well. I am gonna do that, but the trick, this is the secret ingredient for gradient painting, is what you wanna do is you wanna wash your brush, make sure it's Notice I'm not doing the best job of washing my brush. Most of the cleaning comes with my paper towel, so get a lot of paper towel. Then, with that barely damp brush that's pretty clean, I blend my two colors together and see how it blends them perfectly. That is the actual trick with gradients. Um, and it's kind of unfortunate because washing your brush is not fun. It's like my least favorite part of painting. Um, this is where I even get a second cup of water because sometimes we really need to work with um, clean water too. All right, so now I'm gonna take my next color, got my red, start at the bottom, work my way up. And the paint going all the way off your paper is recommended because if you were trying to stay within the parameters of your painting, that wouldn't work very well. Oh gosh, make sure that you guys put your water cups further from your painting than I am. I'm just doing this for the video purposes, but I keep getting water spots on my, um, on my painting. Again, get lots and lots of paper towels, guys, because um, they get pretty drenched. So with my clean, damp brush, I'm just mixing those two colors together. Now, if you're trying to do a radial gradient, it's a lot trickier. So you're gonna need to do a radial gradient where it's like in a bullseye, like a circle. You're gonna need to do a little more practice, but it's the same method of that clean paintbrush. You might even oh, want to experiment with, let's see what happens if I throw some orange in here. If I break my own rules, let's see what happens. See how now that gradient isn't quite as amazing. So just be so, so careful. You're always working with clean brush. Now, if you wanna experiment with a um, round brush, you can. So I've got a round brush here that will work a little better in some parts of the radial gradient. 
So notice that because I went and redid that part, I'm having to fix the rest of my gradient. So you want to have a lot of paint on your surface, um, otherwise it looks too thin. But if you if you mess up in one spot, you end up having to go back and fix the whole thing. So there we go. There's gradients. Good luck.